I am on Patreon and Patreon is a platform where, where I will upload interesting videos where you can learn astrology. Connect with me on Patreon and we will grow and I will give you much more deep insights on Vedic astrology and lot more secrets will be shared there. Hello Seekers, welcome to Punis Astrology, your one-stop astro channel and now on 5th of November you will see that Venus will be moving beyond 27 degrees of the Scorpio zodiac sign. Now the junction of Scorpio and Sagittarius has a special name. This is called the Gandanta position. What is Gandanta? When the final pada of Scorpio, which is a water zodiac sign, Final Pada means Scorpio has three nakshatras. The Jeshta nakshatra is the last nakshatra in the Scorpio zodiac sign. The fourth Pada of Jesh nakshatra and the first Pada of the Mula nakshatra, Mula nakshatra which is the first nakshatra of the next zodiac sign which is Sagittarius connects the boundary of Scorpio and Sagittarius. So the final Pada of Jeshta and the first pada of Mula Nakshatra joins the boundary of two zodiac sign, water zodiac sign of Scorpio and the fire zodiac sign of Sagittarius. When they connect, they create different release of energy, spiritual energy. Here we mean karmic energy. That is why this is called Gandanta. Gandanta is a karmic zone where you will see a lot of changes, lot of twists and turns. Uh, unpredictable circumstances. Consider Gandanta as uh, dealing with a positive 8th house. The positive effect of the 8th house means positive transformation, positive changes happening in life. Same is with Gandanta. And when a planet passes through this zone, which is called Gandanta zone, it is when the planet encounters a lot of push and pull. It's like moving through a black hole and you will be facing the nature's dilemmas, crossroads and your mind will raise a lot of questions. Not everybody is going to get impacted equally, obviously. But someone who has a planet in Gandanta, if you have a Gandanta planet and you are running a Mahadasha of that planet, if your Venus is in Gandanta position, if you have majority of planets in Scorpio or Sagittarius, if you are a Scorpio or Sagittarius moon sign native, if you see that the Mahadasha of the planet that you are in is in Jeshta Nakshatra, say you are running Rahu Mahadasha or Shani Mahadasha and these planets Rahu or Shani, the Mahadasha Lord is in Jeshta Nakshatra, it will impact you greatly. Also when uh, somebody has Venus in the 8th house, Moon in the 8th house, uh, you will also feel more about this transit. One of the reason why this transit is more uh, felt is because Moon is passing the same Gandanta parallel to Venus. Obviously, Moon will travel much faster, but Moon is going to give you an experience because the date when on 5th of November around afternoon when Venus is at 28 degrees approx in Scorpio, Moon is in Mula Nakshatra's Gandanta, Mula Nakshatra's first Pada. Now, let's discuss in detail what this Gandanta means for you. Also, I will give a quick tip for each Ascendant what this means for you what you have to do, the do's and don'ts. So watch this video till the end and do not forget to subscribe the channel, hit the bell icon so that you get notified and also do uh, write your comments, your views because that is very valuable to me. Share the video because sharing gives uh, algorithm of YouTube a kind of a push that yes, this video is important and sharing the video among family and friends helps the channel grow and also it helps spread the word of Vedic Astrology. If you want to take my consultation, you can drop me an email. The email ID is in the description box below. And if you want a computer generated, system generated Kundli PDF report, it's more like a 300 plus pages report, which kind of gives you an overview with 10 years of uh, snapshot predictions, kind of which may help you in case you are unable to book that detailed consultation with astrologers. It will, it comes handy if you know a bit of astrology, it's very good. Otherwise, it is a uh, kind of a handbook that you can print at your own self. Uh, you, have the, you have the PDF, you can watch it on tablet, laptop, phone, whenever you want it. It will give you the snapshot of all the Mahadashas and Tadashas 
and also it talks a lot about your lucky number because numerology report is added with this as bonus if you want to book that the link is in the description box below now let's start understanding what venus is going through now venus is a planet that represents love romance connection family relationship your personal relationship also venus in great ways define your personality how you are accepted by people around you how you are more loving towards each other if that planet crosses this gandanta this kind of traps you into a lot of secrets so you will see that you will be forced to first of all address the secret part of life your secret desires your hidden treasure it can be a hidden talent it can be a hidden trauma depending upon what kind of life you are living now when venus crosses the gandanta be very careful while you are making any commitment especially towards family and relationship towards uh the the accounts or the money related to your life partner investment buying or purchasing luxury goods purchasing perfumes purchasing any kind of uh, you can say luxury watch or luxury items because venus in gandanta can be a little troublesome venus because venus do not like difficult situations it wants to be in a comfort zone the problem with venus in gandanta is the next nakshatra where venus will enter which is the mula nakshatra my next video will be on the venus transit in mula nakshatra now when venus enters the mula nakshatra this is more like you are being sucked into a kind of an emotional trauma uh, not everybody but many of you will be sucked into that emotional trauma you may remember your past relationship you may remember or you may be made to remember the bad moments of life you may be forced to revisit those areas of life now it is good if you are trying to resolve that say you are going to a meet a psychiatrist or an astrologer or a healer your your parents and you are discussing about it you are releasing that energy that kind of finishes the gandanta karma it can act greatly as something that brings closure to relationship so if you want to put a full stop on something this time can be brilliant for you if you're a taurus ascendant or moon sign if you're a libra ascendant or moon sign this will be something very i will say dramatic and life transforming for you now you should always see that the planets around venus is very unique fourth from this venus will be saturn that means saturn is aspecting this venus therefore you will also be reminded of your duties your errors your flaws especially by your life partner or someone who you truly love this may also mean that you may end up your desire of marrying someone or you may end up your quest for relationship and maybe focus on something else so don't be surprised if suddenly your interest dies out and you are completely focusing on some other type of energy that shift is happening right now on the other hand venus will find its lord scorpio in the 8th uh, in the 9th house from itself in the sign of cancer this means that you are caught in a dilemma whether to follow your heart or to follow the dharma you may have this feeling of revenge but you would, would it is best if you keep it in secret there are few things which you should not reveal because this can expose you in variety of ways that can create controversies so it is best that you i'm not saying if there is an injustice you should not speak but if you know something and if if you know it is best to keep as a secret then keep it a secret because that's what venus in scorpio and mula nakshatra means it may mean absorbing the thing and then keeping within you now this is a very fine line why are you doing this is it hurting you is keeping the emotion within your heart troubling your life with a big time is it toxic in your life then you have to release it but find the right platform to let go of the energies now venus is also about uh your happiness in your home your overall uh lifestyle and and the way you live your life that is also going to transform during this time which means there can be renovation there can be expectations for transformations in life you may plan for a travel you may plan for uh you know changes in your 
house, maybe buying or selling can happen. A lot of people, different people, different results. But the theme remains the same. The theme is, how do I bring a change in my life that brings a change in my lifestyle, in my emotions, in my expectations. So that is what Venus in this nakshatra is all about. But because Venus is in trine with Rahu in Pisces and Mars in Cancer, this might give you a lot of vengeance, act of revenge, a feeling of emotion that let me give a reply that will destroy somebody's life. If you have this kind of feeling being developed in your mind, take a step back and think about the consequences. Not every act of revenge will be met with an actual revenge. It can just be a disaster. So you need to be very careful. Now Venus is with Mercury. So this is a grace here. Mercury is going to bring in a lot of knowledge and information. So people who are involved in uh, psychology, people who are involved into the occult practices, people who are doing the, the bhakti of Mahashakti, uh, you will be blessed greatly. Praying to Mata Mahasaraswati is a very good remedy here. And if this can also resolve financial issues. This can give you some secret advice also. You may get some secret information out of nowhere that resolves your issues. Ideas that you generate during this time are highly valuable, especially if it is a creative idea. Think about that. And say an actor who is a, or, or, a, or a budding artist who was always focused on doing romantic films now suddenly signs up a, uh, say, action drama. This is the kind of transformation Venus in Gandanta can bring, especially in the Jeshth Gandanta. You may also feel a little overwhelmed by the weight of responsibility of your loved ones, the expectations of your family member and loved ones from you. You may feel a little overwhelmed. Just give it some time and take one step at a time. On the other hand, if you are involved into the practice of medicine, if you are involved into the practice of healing, this is going to be a very good time for you. Your career will take leaps and bounds of success. Uh, this is also going to give you a lot of communication uh, success, success in communication industry, success in say media, dubbing, editing, social media, influencing, digital marketing, all that. So some transformation will come. Say you were always having this inhibition of opening say an Instagram account. But now when Venus is crossing this, something happens and this emotion comes in your mind, no, let me try. So this, let me try, is what this Venus in Gandanta all about. Think about it and now come to ascendant wise analysis. For quickly, I will just uh, give a, just 10 seconds for each ascendant. And guys, uh, more will be discussed uh, on my Patreon channel. You can see this is my Patreon page because uh, there are certain angles of the transit which uh, cannot be uploaded on YouTube. So I upload that on Patreon. So do check that out. Uh, there are different tiers you can join the exalted tier and in this exalted tier you will be getting some extra updates about the transits for aries it's about your eighth house it's about your transformation in your relationship this can affect your in-laws this can affect the expenses of your life partner take care of your health for taurus it will impact the marriage be careful do not commit for a relationship or marriage at least for the next 10 days five seven days and if you are getting married during this time it is better to also add Mahalakshmi Poojan before and after marriage. For Gemini, Venus will be in the sixth house. This is all about your health. So take care of your health, especially your mood swings, your hormonal health, how you deal with your subordinates and how do you deal with your employees. So try to have a cordial relationship. Do not face, do not go into any confrontation during this time. Take care of the use of uh, credit cards. Uh, don't take unnecessary loans. For Cancer, this is about your relationship with your children. It will improve, but it will also go into transformation. So you need to buckle up and change the way you work towards your children. Also, you have to focus more on your intuitive insights. Your intuition will increase. Your sixth sense will be your greatest help. For Leo, this is also about your property, your comfort zone. So this is the time when you will focus more on changing your comfort zone, trying to be trying to be at a different place. Maybe you are willing to change your house and you are unable to. Take a step back, relax, allow the Venus to move into Purva Shara Nakshatra and then you will see the magic. Otherwise, the environment of home can be a little troublesome. It can be a little, uh, I will say, something that holds you back a bit. Don't uh, focus more on the negative side, focus more on the positive side. For the Virgo, 
ascendant and moon sign this is more about your expression so this will be the place where you have to be very careful about how you express yourself you should express mildly softly you should express by calculating your words because you might expose your uh, vulnerabilities during this time and uh, while you think that somebody is there to help you and you reveal your secrets or you open up you realize that he is not your really a well wisher so be careful while you open up with somebody don't reveal your secrets for libra this is about uh, family life for libra this is about your own self your own resources you might be a little worried about what you have at hand how will you be able to finish a task how will be you will be able to accomplish something all you have to do is just relax don't push yourself too much otherwise this will create family disputes and financial problems but a gandanta means something will definitely happen that will push you to the path of a little bit of financial relief for scorpio it's all about personal transformation it's happening on your head so you need to be very careful about the thoughts that is coming and going in your mind at this point because thought gets into converts into action action becomes the karma and karma brings the karma fall so lot of uh, i will say deep seated desires are going to be exposed during this time uh you might take some bold and drastic steps about yourself nothing wrong if you have planned it if you know the consequence but i will say don't take the leap of faith at this point of time focus on your personal grooming and transformation for sagittarius this is about focusing on controlling your expenses this is about becoming a better version of yourself this is a this can make you little bit self consuming nothing wrong but don't become too much uh, self absorbed that you forget who else is around you try to give importance to everybody and try to set your priorities correct because timing and setting up the priority will be a big challenge at this point of time also your expenses and the money will be more spent on you take care of your health uh, otherwise this is more like a good time for you a good transformation for capricorn this is about venus in the 11th house going into the 12th house so this is more about you transforming your life but this involves investment and expenses a good time for business investment good time for self grooming good time for upgrading yourself good time for certification anything that you do for your own self to invest in your own self is going to work brilliantly at this uh, hour and when venus goes into sagittarius it is all good for you provided you are managing things nicely uh, for capricorn i will say it's more about a balance of everything uh let go of emotions and focusing on financial success for aquarius this is about uh, venus trying to shift the gears in your career maybe you were comfortable now you are not comfortable or maybe it was difficult earlier and now it is much more simpler so it will shift the gear in your career that will be good for you so for you venus is about uh being available uh in your career trying to uh work more trying to pitch in a little harder and trying to give the best you can give why because mars is debilitated in the 6th house and the competition is not so nice so you may need to have that extra edge which this venus will allow you now this transformation in your workspace also means that you need to be careful with the people around you how you are sharing what you are talking with people in your workspace because the environment can be a little bit challenging something that you may say may come back at you you need to be very careful for pisces this is about dharma yuddha this is about being right when you, the world may see that you are wrong this is about proving yourself this is about bringing a transformation for your physical self getting up and following the path of dharma getting up and doing things not about thinking procrastination will be your biggest enemy at this point of time and uh, laziness a uh, half hearted approach a uh, unwillingness to actually do something or reach somewhere is a big problem for you you need to be more be more active and that is what this venus is asking you to do so overall you see for all 12 ascendant this venus transit is actually good transformative but you need to be very careful how you are using this transformation you should not be misguided by a bad rahu uh, don't be in illusion venus is also about maya this venus going through the transformation means the maya around you is changing and transforming 
so it may mean like uh, you are seeing something and now suddenly the meaning of it changes and you takes you it, it may not come quickly in your mind you may need some time to absorb it so give yourself that time when the maya around you is changing and playing its role the leela so lastly uh, as a remedy donating white color sweets wearing more white color clothes focusing on valuing your relationship supporting your life partner appreciating more expressing your love through words and actions more but also trying to accept the limits that is being set by the dharma is the theme is the way to go ahead in this transit praying to mata mahalakshmi by chanting shri suktam is a very very good remedy i hope you like this video do share the video among family and friends and subscribe stay connected we'll meet in the next video till then namaste